Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cedric. I'm an actor, a filmmaker, a screenwriter, and a YouTube reactor. And this is my second Hua Chen Yu reaction. The first one was Nunchucks, and uh, I had certain expectations. I, I thought, just based on who was recommending him, that he was going to be a little bit more of an operatic tone singer, which I think he can do. I think it's within his range, but I was totally blown away by the rapping, the rock, the scratchiness, and, and just the overall identity as a performer. He is a controller of crowds. He is one of those people that knows how to whip you up into a frenzy as a viewer. And it was so, so impressive. The, um, you know, the, the breaking of expectations, the flip between characters and voices and, and the ability to just tell you a story through song was extraordinary. And so I, I have no idea what to expect with this. A bunch of people were like, oh, you got to watch Fake Monk next. And so... I have no clue what to expect other than that it's probably going to be nuts and uh, he's he's very very good before we jump into this i want to say thank you so much to my patrons on patreon thank you for making it possible for me to do my auditions for me to write my screenplays to direct my films to to do xyz as well as do youtube videos thank you so much for your support i appreciate you and i look forward to our future adventures together but uh in the meantime let's check out fake monk by hua chen yu I have no clue what to expect. Also, before we do this, I had to put bars over the video. Uh, I'm saying this in advance because I knew I had to do this last time. I've received enough warnings about this. I'm putting bars over the video because of copyright stuff, which they're allowed to copyright strike fully their thing, and hopefully they let this through, and if not, I'll add more bars and we'll figure it out. Um, but, you know, I want to leave the video up because it takes a lot of work to get them done. So hopefully it can stay up and hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. If you want to see the video without bars, there's always a link in the description. But let's go ahead and jump into this. Blue and purple lights. Nice. Mm, yeah. Nice Dutch angle on the opening shot. Okay, production design, blue and pink, very uh, similar in tone. They're very vibrant, very bright blue and pink, but they're both literally splitting him in half. It's almost a blue red. There's a light darkness thing that seems to be battling here. And even in the song, very low warm tone. I want to walk from day to night. Again, that may not be the exact notes or words, but very warm tone, very thoughtful. <laughs> It's uh, a little bit wavering on it too, which is a nice character note. There's a lot of age that he's kind of adding to this, a lot of thoughtfulness to it. But there's this idea of all day, all night, I wanna walk from north to south, pink to blue. There's a contrast that he's already putting into the song. Also vocalizing that exhale breath on. So much character there to just exhale that the end of the word there, that final word, such a great note. So already, what great storytelling. Come on. Using his mouth, to, it almost sounds like an alien. Ah. I might be. I might be. <laughs> what a performer. Uh, 
Ah, okay, so they are doing a lot with the camera to enhance what he's doing as well. He is making this borderline creepy with his voice, and that's very intentional. The the laugh up top, the, the way he was vocalizing, the, almost doing sirens with it, trying to make it sort of alien, ethereal. It almost... Like, I'm almost picturing him walking through, like, a valley filled with fog as he sings this. And the colors, his performance, the fact that they pulled out to a wide on a Dutch angle. It's it's trying to help you feel lost in the song. And there's a sense of of, of being lost in himself, too, that, that he's doing here. And it's just, it's extraordinary storytelling. And he's 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 very good. This, this man is very, very talented. Oh, cool. Nice. Attention, yeah. Wow. He held that note for roughly 12 seconds. I almost don't want to pause it. Okay, there's clearly a transition happening here, but there's already been so many transitions. I did not realize how clean his vocal could be. I know in the first one that I read in Nunchuck, he was doing some cleaner vocal when he went into the more traditional style of singing, but I didn't realize how clear he could make his upper register. Um, some people just have a more scratchy voice, which is fine. His is great when he does go scratchy. I didn't realize how pure he could also make it. So it's incredible to hear. And then when he adds that texture, then yeah, you can see how he's producing it. He is fully invested in it. And his whole physical performance, he's just sitting at a piano, but to have his, pulling his hand up here, looking down, looking up. Now he's hunched over the piano. It's all a performance choice. These aren't things he needs to do to get the sound out. These are ways that without ever moving, you feel like he is still moving. You feel like he's he's almost changed spots on the stage because he's inhabiting these different characteristics that keep it visually interesting even without him ever leaving the piano. It's incredible. Nice. Driving forward now. See how the camera's starting to move more? There's a lot they're doing with the camera here. They're editing, but they're, in the edit, they're cutting between shots really quickly. A lot of zoom-ins, push-ins, pull-outs, moving with it. So the movement isn't consistent. It's it's putting you on the edge. It's 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 disconcerting. And so as he's driving the da 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 and there's an accelerando happening. It's slowly getting faster. And as he's like he's. He's adding to that anxiety with his voice and the camera's pushing it and pulling back and he's moving his whole body with it. 
you can't help but breathe in time with him and almost feel like you're moving with him, like this tidal wave's just hitting you. It's great. It's great performance technique. It's outstanding storytelling. So good. And then it's just, he's up smiling. Yeah. Jeez, come on. Ah, uh, I, I, I thought, I was wondering the whole time, I was, uh, is he a method actor or something like that? Because it, the performance was so authentic. Like I was so, it was so frantic that the reason I didn't pause, I, I like the audience, how they kind of stood up. You could tell they were almost worried about him because it was so real that I was like, oh man, like, is he okay? Because I know a lot of performers that choose to go method on it, that choose to genuinely try to feel these emotions, and that can be a really hard thing to turn off. But then he stands up and just smiles, and he's just kind of relieved, which is is almost, like, scary to watch because it was so intense visually. And at the end there, when he did you could hear he was pushing more air through. His voice wasn't strained at all, which is terrifying because what he did was so wild vocally but there was an age to it it was almost like um almost like it had been aged in like a barrel like there was there was a sense of a, 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 I don't even know I don't know what I'm trying to say but like it's like whiskey I don't know it was like his voice had turned to whiskey like this old kind of smokiness um that makes no sense i don't know it was beautiful it was just beautiful and i thought the lights were going to change but maintaining that blue and that pink which kind of raise your emotions a little bit without really you realizing it but blue is a very calming color pink is a very frantic color and so having the two of those play on his face and him moving in and out with the shadows happening all around him uh it was just, it was really good. I found my, I felt like I was forgetting to breathe at times because it was so good. Like so sorry I didn't pause there a lot, but again, 
what he's doing is so technically profound, um, especially to not damage his voice. It's absurd. And I, I would I would put him on the level of someone like, as far as like brave storytelling and just breaking rules and doing whatever he wants and it working, like he, he's on that like David Bowie type level of just absurdly watchable, right? Where you're just like, what is he going to do? Because it's it's just incredible. So he's very good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I look forward to our next adventure together. But until then, please drink lots of water, take care of yourselves, be well, and I'll see you then.